All right, I wanted to give you a super quick tip on how you can quickly and easily align things. Um, the easiest way is to use FileMaker's Inspector tool, obviously. Um, I don't have to re position all of these. You can see that actually as I drag, I have FileMaker uh, 12's alignment guides turned off. Sometimes I find that uh, annoying. So I'm going to bring in a portion of the inspector so we can see what's going on. We've got our position right here. So first I'm thing I'm going to do is select one object, and I'm going to look at its topped value. I'm going to look at the last digit and recognize whether it's an odd or an even. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to roughly approximate how I want these separated like such. And the bottom object, what I'm going to do is I'm going to match its last digit with either an even or an odd. This is going to give me a perfect separation between these. So I'm going to tap this for one pixel and make it a 5 from the 4. So we have a 3 and a 5 now. Now of course all I have to do is select all of these and I can use my alignment tools, which I have right here, left and then space. Now let's say, for example, you wanted labels within these, like I have a label right here where I want to identify this. Well, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to drag this object much lower, and I'm again going to match that last digit. It's currently even, so I'm just going to bump it up one, like so. And what I need to do now is select all of my objects, click all of them, align, and then space, and for my label, I will bring one in here, right here, and what I'm going to do is I am going to do all of the labels at one time. Rather than doing trying to do one label and then align it and then another label, it's much easier to do bulk applications. So what I'm going to do right here is I have some command keys assigned to my alignment tools. You're going to see that I won't be clicking these. What I'll do is I'll select this object and this object, and I'll align both of them, and I will also resize them so they are the exact same height. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to drag multiples of these like such and I'm simply going to align them the same way that I did. You can see how quick this is once you've got the keys set in order to do this. And again like I mentioned I'm going to do bulk operations now. I'm going to select all of these labels on top and now I'm going to mouse them up which I did with, or not mouse them up, but arrow them up. So now all of my labels are all the exact same spacing distance as all of my fields were because I aligned all of them on my fields. And that's just the quickest way in order to do that when you haven't already aligned all of your objects. Then of course all you need to do is go up to the text tool and double click, which I've just done, and now I could just double click to rename any one of these, to rename whatever I want. And that is my super quick little tip right there for aligning objects.